Welcome to another episode of Masonic Curators, being brought to you in part by Whence Came You Podcast, the Massachusetts Lodge of Research, and the Masonic Historical Preservation Society. We are still at the historic Warren, Rhode Island Masonic Temple, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of those items that transverses from one category to the next. Now, you've heard John and I spoke in the past about such items that cross over the threshold. Uh, they're Masonic, and they're also collected for another reason. And the guys here at uh, the crew at uh, Masonic Curators know I love toys, and they're going to laugh at this one, but they know I love toys. <clears throat> My wife and I are both toy collectors, and we are also small-time toy dealers. So whenever I can find something that combines my two favorite things in the whole wide world, no, not my wife, but the two whole things in my favorite world, Freemasonry and toys, I have to jump on it. And though you're not going to see a good view of this right now, we are going to have an insert put on the video so you can see a clear shot of this. And this is a toy. And what it is, it's a small 19 or Model A Ford tr uh, truck. What it is, is by a company called Lido, L-L-E-D-O, made over in the UK. Um, on the side is called Spencer & Company Masonic Suppliers. Now, Spencer was one of the top three um, Masonic manufacturers in England. Uh, there was Toy, there was Spencer, and there was George Kenning and Sons. They were the top three makers of Masonic regalia. They supplied basically Masonic regalia to all the English Constitution Lodges uh, though underneath the realm of the Grand Lodge of England and also in Scotland. <clears throat> this piece here was made for Spencer. Unfortunately, I can't find too much about it, so I don't know if it was a item that was made uh, to promote Spencer. Uh, Spencer no longer exists. It is now called Toy Spencer and Kenning, all three did merge together. Um, I believe probably Lido may have found a photograph of the old Spencer building or an advertisement and then did a vehicle with their name on it. Um, I don't think it was a sort of a uh, promotional item from Spencer. Uh, it is a hard to find piece. I've only seen two of these. So it probably wasn't a mass-produced piece that Lido had made. Now, Lido is a collector's item as well, but it's also a toy. Just like if any of you guys out there do do toys, uh, there is Dinky, there is Corgi. Of course, everybody knows about matchboxes. Everybody knows about Hot Wheel cars. But toys have come over the years uh, that have crossed over into Freemasonry. Uh, for those who may be model railroaders, there is the old gauge weaver set that was produced by the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania a number of years ago that each car is decorated in a different um, Masonic theme. Uh, there are the Lego figures that came out recently. You have the Masonic member in an apron, you have the, pa uh, the master, and you also have a shriner in a fez in the, in the uh, Lego. There have been bears with Masonic clothing on. I have seen celluloid dolls that have been dressed up in shrine and Knight Templar uh, costumes. Um, of course, a number of years ago, there was the frost cutlery that produced a number of different Masonic knives. And that came with a pickup truck with the square encompasses on the side doors. Uh, there have been a number of uh, metal banks, vehicle banks over the years that were sold as fundraisers for both Shrine and uh, Masonic Lodges. Uh, and then also the, um, the Shea Shriva car that was made in the, uh, uh, about 2010 that showed a wacky Shriner driving a kind of a weird car. And then of course the uh, number 38 uh, NASCAR for the Shriners, uh, hospitals. Uh, that also came out in miniature uh, as a toy. So there are toys that cross over into your masonry. Um, 
And it's just another one of those topics of a item that crosses the line or threshold into a whole different category. So with that, I want to give you the uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Pass the word to others that uh, Masonic curators are doing their thing. Uh, watch us on Facebook and uh, continue watching. Thank you.